Hey guys, Archie Luxury on the Paul Pluto channel. Guys, I want to quick, quick, quick wristwatch check. I'm wearing a Sky Dweller. Guys, on Friday night, I went out with a fan and he took me to a beautiful restaurant. We had Italian food. It was lovely. I was chatting to him and uh, it evolved. He's 33 years old. He's, uh, he's married, got two lovely daughters, and he, he's a lobbyist, and he's just bought for himself a Rolex Day Date 40 mil, Day Date 40 mil with diamond baguette dial. And, you know, I'll be honest with you, this is a very impressive watch. Um, very impressive watch, a beautiful watch. However, 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 how the fike does anyone afford this? This is in Aussie dollars, 50,000 plus Aussie dollars, $50,000. I mean, I, I don't understand it. 50,000. I mean, he's probably upper middle class guy middle class upper middle class i mean he doesn't have a ferrari he doesn't have a mercedes he's he's uh he's okay his wife works as a um she's kind of like a paralegal uh and i don't know 50 th plus thousand, 33 year old. I mean, I can tell you this now at 33, I wasn't buying $50,000 Rolex day dates. And I find it incredible. It's an incredible achievement for this guy to have done. And it, it, it takes me back when I got a day date myself. I actually got a day date in the late 90s and my first day date was because i sold my 1016 explorer one what a mistake that was but okay so i i got that i got an 18038 then i flipped that because it wasn't perfect and i i actually i got a minty 18238 with diamond dial cream dial with diamonds and I remember with that piece there, it came from, in Australia, we have the poker machine, famous poker machine maker called Ainsworth Aristocrat Leisure, Aristocrat Leisure, and it was founded by the, by Mr. Ainsworth, and the person I got the day date from was one of his kids, because he actually decided to give his inheritance away whilst he was alive. So he gave millions of dollars to each kid in shares of aristocrat, aristocrat leisure. And he was, so this was one of the kids, so fair enough. But you know, that day date, I bought it for 11,500 in 1998. Okay, so that was, 24 years ago, 24 years ago, uh, 11,500, I suppose that was a lot of money. Retail, I think, on that piece was about 28,000. Uh, so, I mean, if, 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 you, if you adjust it for inflation and that, I suppose it probably works out similar. I said, what the big difference is, is that these young whippersnappers, they're not buying second hand because the second hand watch is worth more than the new watch. You can't, it's very, if you can get it from the AD, there's money in the bank. And I suppose this was a different market environment. So whilst for me, it was a stretch to buy the day date for other people <clears throat> they're buying them at retail and and that would have never that would never 
it was it was something that people just didn't do. They didn't. Thirty three year olds didn't spend fifty thousand on a. Um, they didn't spend fifty thousand on a day date on a pre on a watch on a watch. And <clears throat> I recently a friend of mine, plastic, <clears throat> plastic, plastic just got a watch for himself through the AD. He got a white gold Daytona with black dial and diamonds. And to be totally honest with you, this is a forty to fifty thousand dollar brand new retail. Okay, it's worth more on the secondary. I know it's a weird market we're in, but jeez, forty. Five thousand dollars? That's not just chump change. It's not just oh yeah, we'll just buy that. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. And I mean, I look at my humble watch collection, ten pieces. Uh the most I ever paid for a watch was twenty seven thousand five hundred for a my Patek six zero zero six, which I sold because I I, I couldn't handle having so much money in one watch and my next most expensive was my paddock world time that was twenty five and a half thousand um and i i thought that was a a lot of money twenty five thousand is no longer that ridiculous uh see submariners are going for Modern submariners, 41 mil submariners, you're looking at low to mid 20s Aussie, Australian dollars. You're looking at, I suppose, the, um, this is all in Aussie dollars, Explorer 2s, Milgausses, High Teens. Aussie dollars we're talking. Um, and, and I suppose this is the whole thing, you know. I'm still of the belief, I, I really believe $5,000, $10,000 was a lot of money. But it's not. It's not. And if I look back in time, $10,000 from 10 years ago is kind of like 20 today. I suppose that's the effects of inflation. I mean, inflation can be very deceiving. Because the official inflation percentage has been very low, two, three percent for many years. Now it's got a blip. Yes, okay, there's a blip. But realistically, the value of money it tends to double every ten years. So it's kind of funny. It's kind of funny when you use those ratios, but. It, I don't know if it was that much, you know, money's kind of, it's weird. Cars have not really, well, recently they've gone up, but for a long time they were teetering on prices from 20 years ago. So it's a tricky, it's a very tricky thing to work out. Uh, but people these days, I suppose what I'm trying to say is, okay, middle class people weren't buying $50,000 brand new day dates. They weren't buying gold Daytonas. That was strictly for rich folk, very wealthy folk, captains of industry. So I suppose what I'm finding is I find it, I suppose we've, a lot of people are very wealthy compared to and they're not even wealthy like they know they're wealthy. They're just middle class, upper middle class. And it's, that is a changed environment. We're very, very well. So I suppose the really rich people, instead of them, say, buying a, I suppose, see, see if you look back in time, what are the really rich? They bought Paddock or AP or Vacheron. I suppose they're still there. Lange, well, that was always expensive. Richard Mill is ridiculously expensive. Um, so it's kind of, it's kind of strange. A solid gold day date, it's still as special, but I mean, that's an amazing watch. $50,000. Can you believe that people can just 
I don't know. It's, it's weird to explain, but they can just walk in and buy that. These are middle class people. And uh, I find these numbers very, very, very hard to fathom. These are, you're talking crazy, crazy numbers. The numbers are getting very high. And um, I don't know if that's such a great thing. I don't know if that is such a great thing thing so it's yeah it's a tricky situation it is very tricky what do you guys think i mean you've got middle class okay admittedly successful upper middle class buying fifty thousand dollar day dates 33 year olds buying fifty thousand dollar day i mean that is incredible that's incredible that's that is incredible and they I don't know if they really appreciate how incredible that is. And as for plastic, I mean, a family man with three kids and a wife. That's a lot of money. Fork out $45,000 on a gold Daytona. And he's already got half a dozen Rolex already. It's, it's, it's incredible. This market is absolutely incredible so uh put some comments below what do you think of this and guys i will see you in the next one and appreciate what you got appreciate what you got i'm archie luxury and i'll see you in the next one hi guys it's archie luxury guys i want to talk to you about david sw david sw david sw guys if you are in america if you are looking for a Rolex watch of your dreams, in fact, if you're looking for a contemporary modern wristwatch, I strongly advise you to look at David SW. Guys, don't play the dealer games. Don't bring in chocolates or crispy creams for your dealer hoping to get a Rolex at retail. It's futile. Please, guys, save your dignity. Keep some pride go to david sw i would highly recommend david sw david sw if you're in america and you're looking for a watch go to david sw david sw david sw hi guys archie luxury and today guys i'm very proud to introduce a new sponsor of the Archie Luxury and the Paul Pruder channels. Who am I talking about? Watchshopping.com, watchshopping.com, watchshopping.com. Check them out, guys. Jump online, check out watchshopping.com. These guys here have been in business since 2017. Worldwide shipping and distribution. Over 10,000 wristwatches in inventory stock in hand and 90 plus different brands new and pre-owned now the good thing about watchshopping.com trusted by over 4,000 reviews on chrono 24 and trust pilot your one-stop shop to buy any watch your heart desires Please, guys, check out whatshopping.com, whatshopping.com, whatshopping.com. I'm Archie Luxury, and check out whatshopping.com. Hey, guys, Archie Luxury on the YouTube sensation, the Paul Pluto channel. Guys, I need you to help me out, guys. I can't survive on Google Ads alone. I need you to request a paid review. 50 US dollars, look down in the description, 50 US dollars, re I will review your collection, I'll tell you what I think of it, and I'll give you some pointers, the other thing is guys, you can sponsor me on Patreon, Patreon allows you to pay a couple bucks a month, a dollar, two dollars, five dollars, whatever you want, and it keeps me going on YouTube, because guys, I'm in a niche, nobody can make money out of the views I get, the views are crap because it's a small specialized area and I don't talk about garbage for the sake of views. Guys, sponsor me on Patreon, look down below, and I will see you in the next one.
Yeah.